one big thing. It's the second day in a row that we've begun the show with this segment because following the 30 for 30 on the Lakers and the Celtics, which documents a truly great rivalry of the past, this felt like the right time to weigh on on a rivalry of the present, particularly given the antics on this parade day for the Golden State Warriors. My belief is that a rivalry can only exist under these circumstances. Do two entities view one another with equal parts respect and disdain? Has each taken something from the other that truly matters? Does each know that the other is likely to have something to say about how they are ultimately defined? If you can't beat them, you just hate them, you are not a rival. You have got to trade punches. As we know with the Celtics and the Lakers, it came much closer to literal punches than the modern-day Warriors and Cavaliers rivalry. But that's what this is. LeBron tried to say otherwise, you might remember, back in January. I don't think we have a rival in our, in our game today. Uh, we've had uh, two great finals appearances the last two years, but uh, had the same with the Spurs. I want to look at his rival. You know why I would look at it as you two are rivals? Because they had a parade, then you had a parade, and now they had a parade. The Lakers and Celtics never did what you all just did, met three straight years in the finals. They also didn't troll each other because that's how modern-day rivalries play out, with passive aggression, like LeBron in an Ultimate Warrior t-shirt last year. That led to an answer from Draymond Green Thursday, his t-shirt a takeoff on the Quicken Loans logo. That's the arena where the Cavs play. Draymond had this explanation. I can't forget the, the Ultimate Warrior shirt last year from LeBron and, you know, the 3-1 Tombstone cookies and all of that. So, you know, I was waiting on this moment. Green waited a year to answer James. LeBron, whose self-imposed social media embargo is now over, did not wait to take to Instagram to weigh in on the quickie t-shirt. LeBron's post, that's what she said. But this isn't a rivalry. Look, there's no point in denying what so obviously is. It's not a sign of weakness for either team or player to acknowledge it. Maybe all this really needed was an accelerant. Not surprisingly, the match or the gasoline is Draymond. They want to talk about super teams this, super team that. I never played on a super team. You started the super team, bro. And that's another huge difference between then and now. Bird only played for the Celtics. Magic only played for the Lakers. But they only met in the finals three times. The Cavaliers and the Warriors just did in the last three years. It is what it is. And what it is is a rivalry by every single definition of the word.